Penck's model. Penck and uh, is a bit of introduction here. Penck and Davis, they were contemporaries and very powerful scholars. Ekhi time mein the. Davis an American, writing in English, studying conditions of America. And Penck was a German, and he wrote in German. They are different backgrounds. Davis was a geomorphologist. Meaning of that is, he is more concerned about the shapes of the landforms. High mountain, low mountain, deep valley, a straight slope, flat landform. His shapes are not here. He is more concerned about what the landform looks like. He is a trained geomorphologist. He is not into the deep geology. Yes, uh, in geomorphology, I do teach some geology, like you know minerals. You know a bit of rocks names. You know mantle, but does not mean you are a geologist, are you? So Davis was a geomorphologist. He was not a trained geologist, whereas Pink was a geologist. So the objective of Davis was what are the shapes and how they change. That's why he said high mountain, low mountain, flat surface, convex slopes, uh, steep valleys. Is up kya? Is shapes to or kya? Whereas Pink was more into the internal forces. Remember this. It's not that back then we did not have geologists. It's just that the geology discipline was not as developed as it is today. But they definitely were studying interiors of Earth because they knew about. Think of Edward Swiss. Uh, think of the works of Harold Jeffrey. Uh, think of the works of uh, the likes of uh, uh, Vandergrat uh, or what is Arthur Holmes telling us. Arthur Holmes in 29 in theory. Lot of things was known then. So Pink was a geologist and the geologist is more concerned about the internal force. Upliftment ho raha hai, subsidence ho raha hai, volcanism is happening, landform is rising, it is sinking. Whereas Davis said, I don't know much, ignore that, let's talk about shapes. So if you look at the two theories, Peng's model includes the role of the internal forces. And Peng definitely was influenced by Davis also. How they wrote. But very importantly, Pink dismissed the idea that landforms ke changes are sequential predictable. He said, that's the hota hai. Why Davis talked about sequential changes? Because he assumed landform is not changing in terms of internal forces. So a river will gradually erode and will make the land flat. Pink says, what if the land uplifts? Landform is eroding okay, and it uplifts. Landform eroding. Land sinks. Land from eroding and there's volcanism because the endogenic processes they don't follow up time based change. Okay, earthquake fit time hota hai. Ki har das saal mein we'll have an earthquake. We don't have that way, no. We don't have every five years we'll have a volcanism, no. So, force from inside they're relatively more random. They're not necessarily always okay because of a sequential change. So, Peng said your time idea is wrong. I don't agree with time idea. Okay, time is it important? He said maybe, but not for me. So Davis said internal forces are important, but I'll ignore it. Peng said time can play a role, but I'll ignore it. So Davis was time theory, historical approach. Peng was against time, against historical approach. But he said there are the way how landforms change. Is it okay, all of you? Got the idea of essence? Acha, now tell me between the two, who looks more likely to be correct? Peng or Davis? Peng. And because of which, he was a boring scientist. You know, things which are more likely, which are more, okay, uh, you know, say detailed, are boring ideas. Exciting ideas all come in Republic TV, Arnav Goswami. So, and he's a rock star also. Achhi baat karo, sahi samjhao chiz, you dismiss as a madman. Today, Gandhi ji is a madman. Okay, bakwas karte hai. Exciting guy is okay, Arnav uh, Trump. Okay, Trump is exciting guy, you know, rock star of the... American politics. So, Peng was right, but Peng was not popular. Davis was popular. Davis was more studied. Peng was quiet. And the problem with Peng also was, he was a German, writing in German. And unfortunately, Peng died before he finished his theory. And somewhere in the process, Davis may have realized that Peng is making more sense because they are known to be contemporary. They have read each other's work. They are consulting also, but not agreeing. But after Peng died, okay, Davis took Peng's work and he translated those. The very nice ideas of Peng. But he said, it could be professional rivalry 
बिकॉज ऑफ विच वेन डेविस वॉज ट्रांसलेटिंग शायद जान बूझ के ही गेव रॉन्ग मीनिंग टू वॉट पेंक वॉज सेलिंग अस सो फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम पेंक वॉज मिस अंडरस्टूड ओके बट देन दे डिस्कवर्ड की नो पेंक आइडिया इज फार मोर सुपीरियर पेंक देर फोर is considered more contemporary than davis but remember davis was the more popular geomorphologist it almost same time but penck's model came light afterwards because it was posthumous once he died his work was taken translated and then davis inserted some errors to make him look inferior and uh, penck was ignored but then they restudied penck they found ki penck to kuch aur baat kar rahe hain and penck was definitely more superior he was far more analytical and far more uh, contemporary in terms of his ideas theek hai so aapke discussions mein you cannot talk about davis without referring to pink you cannot analyze davis also without knowing what pink is saying so four five points here one is pink a german pink i said is a, a geologist pink is german Penck is geologist. Penck talks about the role of uh, endogenic forces, and Penck is uh, time independent studies. Uh, Penck rejects a uh, historical approach. Penck rejects historical approach. Uh, so Davis, I said, an American. Uh, Davis was a geomorphologist. Uh, Davis uh, ignored the role of uh endogenic davis is historical and davis is time uh dependent so ye bahut important uh, point hai penck as a geologist his insights are different from the ideas of davis likhi aap log note kiye so davis is historical davis is time dependent and because he is time historical there is uh, influence of darwin and uh, davis idea is a stage model and davis idea is the idea of uh, landform evolution and his concept is also called as the erosion cycle ye teen word bahut important davis mein the idea of a stage based change evolution somewhere has a time element to it you can't have evolution without time and for davis the word important innovation is the word called as cycle theek hai now i said Like we have all, all done here, all of you. Okay, Davis stage idea, Davis historical evolution cycle. Yes, these are three concepts. These three concepts uh, they are uh, the consequence of historical time dependent approach. And we are saying that Penck is not historical. Penck is time independent. What does that mean? He will reject stage changes. He will reject the concept of cycle. He will not use the idea called as evolution. ये तीन चीज को ही विल रिजेक्ट द पेंक डज नॉट बिलीव इन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एवोल्यूशन ऑफ लैंडफॉर्म्स पेंक्स इज टाइम इंडिपेंडेंट इट कैन नॉट बी अ साइकिल इट कान बी रिपीटिटिव ओके एंड पेंक्स आइडिया इज इज नॉट स्टेज बेस्ड चेंज सो इफ यू कंपेयर यू कंपेयर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हियर इन फैक्ट यू कुड पुट स्टार मार्क हियर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वॉट वॉज the objective of davis his objective was a historical a reconstruction of a landscape and the genetic uh, classification or the study of landforms this is the objective of davis okay, let me reconstruct ke pehle landform kya tha okay historical uh, reconstruction of landscape and the genetic classification and i think i have explained what i mean by genetic essentially time angle here the gen- the youth is genetic in the origin mature is genetic okay so time based study is the genetic classification of the study of landforms whereas if you look at penck his objective was to study the interaction of endogenic and exogenic processes okay that uh, create landforms and landscape all done and so so for davis because historical hai and he is a geomorphologist for davis the shapes are important in themselves so for davis 
land form study is the goal of geomorphology the shapes are important the land form study when say land form ka matlab is the shapes land form study is the goal of geomorphology the land form is enough good enough good enough for us whereas for pink the land forms study is not the goal itself land form study is the basis of studying the interaction between endogenic and exogenic processes to inke liye kya tha land form is the goal for pink land form is the means to understand internal forces let us study endogenic forces uh, let us study land forms okay pink is rejecting the idea of evolution correct that's the reason why jo davis ka model hai we call davis model as a uh, theory of a uh, land form evolution pink is very clear ki mujhe time use nahi karna hai he says my theory is the theory of uh, a landscape development because see if he uses the word evolution wo fir lagega time bol rahe hai na so the key words of davis are avoided by pink and they mean pink is very popular one ek bhi word use kar diya yahan par or we'll say you've copied davis idea correct so, so davis is the more popular one sorry so pink is very careful not to use any keyword of davis what are the keywords of davis evolution stage okay cycle concept ye keywords of davis right pink will say i will not use those words main apna word use karna hai so he said evolution he said development this man said a uh, cycle he said it is non cyclic this man said a uh, stage of land form this man will say phase of development and they mean different things there's lot of technical difference between the word called evolution and the word called development a difference between the word called stage and the word called phase because the word stage ka matlab hai things are sequential ek ke baad ek hota hai the stage means you can predict phase you can't predict phase can be anything random is okay all of you here okay so this is the and this is a very common question compare contrast davis and peng okay and to analyze davis aapko peng se use karna padega ki unlike what peng said davis said this and davis is not as contemporary as peng's ideas unlike what peng explained davis says this which is an error in davis's idea so use peng while analyzing davis's theory 